Hello and welcome to How Did They Do That, the show where we pick out a small detail, effect or interesting moment from a game and break down how the game's developer achieved it. Today we will be taking a look at the 360 degree gravity in the Super Mario Galaxy series. This one is pretty complex, but it is the most requested topic I've had so far, so let's try and boil it down. Gravity in most games is a fairly simple process conceptually. There are actually several ways around it, each with their own benefits and drawbacks. As an example though, one way to achieve it would be to have a constant force pushing down on the character. When the player presses the jump button, a larger force is applied in a burst in the opposite direction to the ground. This results in the character moving up instantly, and then moving down after a short while. However, as you can probably imagine, this doesn't quite work when you require your character to run around an object in any direction. In Galaxy, Mario can even run over irregular shaped objects, and yet he still sticks to the surface relatively bug free. So, how does Galaxy do it? Well, first we need to cover surface normals. Think of a normal as a line that is perpendicular to its surface, so it always points up from whichever polygon it belongs to. Okay, so this allows the game engine to calculate what is up from any given surface. Great, but how exactly does that help us? Well, to explain that, we need to quickly explore ray casts. The simplest way to think of a ray cast is as a laser beam shooting out. For the sake of argument, a laser fires in a straight line. Mario shoots a ray cast out from his feet. This allows the game engine to calculate several different things on every single frame of gameplay. Firstly, it allows you to calculate whether or not Mario is on the ground, using the length of the ray before it hits the surface. It also allows you to calculate the surface normal of the polygon below you. Galaxy's engine takes this last calculation to work out a new up angle for Mario. In short, this is how it works. Every frame Mario moves, the game recalculates which angle is down for him, and changes his orientation to match. In order for this effect to look polished and avoid an ugly looking snap, a couple of extra elements are implemented. Firstly, the ground is always fairly high polygon. This means that the change of angle isn't very steep. Secondly, the rotation of Mario is interpolated to create a smoother transition from one up to another. Interpolation is the method of constructing new data points within the range of a discrete set of points. In our case, the normal of the surface. At the very base level, this is the method used. There are a lot of other factors that go into polishing the effect. For example, the engine can distinguish between which objects should have gravity and which should not. Plus, there is also some crazy camera magic going on to make sure Mario's movements feel natural to the player. And that about wraps it up for today. Is there an effect or detail you've seen in a game that's had you wondering? How did they do that? If so, be sure to leave it in the comments below and we may just cover it. Thanks for watching. Ta-ra!